Welcome to Razor's Wrap of Day 7 of this Sydney International Rowing Regatta. Plenty of World Cup races again today and finals will be contested tomorrow. The Interstate Regatta was, was the highlight of today's racing however. The women's single skull went to Sally Keogh of Queensland. The men's single skull was won by Sasha Belanogov of New South Wales. In the third race of the Interstate Regatta, a great win to Tasmania in the women's uh, quad skull and the men's lightweight four went to uh, Queensland for the second year in a row. The women's youth eight, a bit of a boil over, a great win to Queensland and a terrific race in the men's youth eight with Victoria just getting up in the dying stages to beat Queensland by 0.12 of a second. And uh, the Interstate Women's Eight was a fantastic race. Oh, and look who we found. Here comes Kate Hornsey, the uh, stroke of the Brilliant. Tasmanian, mate. Kate, how do you think the Tasmanian girls went in the uh, in the eight today? I think we did great today, actually, Razor. We were we were happy to be within 250 metres, only 18 seconds behind the victorious Victorians. And how many years is it in a row is that for Victoria? That's 10. Lucky number 10. Lucky number 10. And some of the girls have been in it all 10. Yeah, I think so. Pauline Frasca would be one. Um, Phoebe Stanley would have done a few. I think Most Phoebe's others, done eight. Yeah, the others are probably quite a bit younger. And the uh, highlight of the Interstate Regatta always is the King's Cup and what a stunning performance by New South Wales to absolutely spread eagle the field and win their seventh in a row. Great. Great. <laughs>Fabulous. Yep, go Tazzy. Go Tazzy, that's, that's all from Kate and I. Look for us on uh, rowingdownunder.org or join us for Razor's final wrap on day eight of the Sydney International Rowing Regatta.